Hey players, it's me, EMC, and I am back. I have a new sad story to tell you, and it is a really good sad story. I'm, uh, it's really sad. So I am starting here at Old Herolden, which is a little inn in the Reach. And uh, if you don't know, this inn has kind of a cool quest that you get from a ghost. You have to uh, buy a room and sleep in Tiber Septum's bed. Apparently he slept here and uh, that's why they're famous. And uh, yeah, you'll get visited by a nice ghost who will uh, ask you to uh, fetch something for him. And here I am. It's kind of in the middle of not much. Way over here is Markarth. Up here is Carthwaston. Over here is Rorikstad. And way on over here is Morthal. So it's kind of just uh, surrounded by Forsworn and uh, mean beasties. So my sad story is not very far away and it's not at all difficult to find. There's a road that runs across here in front of Old Rolden. And you take it north and just follow the path all the way to the carnage. It's a pretty nice day here in the Reach. Good weather. And uh, yeah, what could go wrong? It's, I might even say it, it'd be a good day for a picnic. It'd be a good day for camping out with somebody you love. <gasps> Shite. Uh, there's somebody's camp. <gasps> there is a big mean bear. Did I get him? I might have missed him. Oh, shite. <laughs> Oops. Die, bear, die. Ugh, bears. Always ruining stuff. This is a really nice camp and there's two people here and they're dead because their bear came along and ruined their day. Ugh. Uh, this man, his name is Tolver. And there's a lady over here. So she's a Breton. But she has a journal next to her that says her name is Karen. Oh, Tulver. Dear, sweet Tulver. I can't stop thinking about him. Since that first moment I laid eyes on him in the marketplace, my heart was lost. But father would never allow me to marry a commoner, much less a poor Dunmer miner. Mara, what to do? Another letter from Tolver, the third this week. He says he can't live without me, that he'd rather die than lose me to another. Oh, I feel the same way. I can't abide this any longer. Father is sure to find out eventually. The maids are all a flutter over my secret love. Something will slip. Tolver and I must be long gone by then. Our father will have all the reach up in arms against him. I've convinced father to take me on his next trip out east. When we reach the inn at Old Herolden, I'll slip out at night and meet Tolver in the hills above Soljans. Tolver says he's been saving his wages for the last few months, stowing them away in an old stump up there. With that, we should be able to buy passage to Riften and our freedom. Oh, love. I can't wait another hour. So Karen here is a daughter of a wealthy merchant, probably from Markarth, since they said that they were going east. Um, she fell in love with a Dunmer, who was poor and a Dunmer. So um, yeah, star-crossed lovers. They ran away together. They had a plan. They executed that plan, everything was going so well, and then BAM! Bear attack! And now they're dead. 
So, pretty sad. Um, there is not a tonnage of loot here. Uh, these lovers do not have much of value on them. Over here is Tulver's stump. And there's a knapsack. And it's, yeah, it's not anything super special. Uh, here's a grand soul gem. That's kind of good. And a coin purse with some gold in it. And a iron sword that Tulver really should have used against that bear. Defended his woman. Um, yeah. I mean, you're in Skyrim. You should expect these things. Well, I'm back here at Old Herolden and, uh, kind of depressed. Uh, that was a pretty sad story. So, uh, maybe to cheer you up, I'm gonna tell you how to find some awesome loot. Uh, there wasn't very good loot up there at the lover's camp. Uh, but if you go directly west from Old Herolden, you will see that there's a river down here. And right there, there's a little island. So make your way over to the little island. Jump on the rocks and... Hey, it's a chest! Awesome! It's got an apprentice lock. And there is an illusion skill book and some gems and some gold and another soul gem and a little silver ring. And that's not too bad. So there you go. A little bit of extra compensation, a little bonus loot. Uh, since the lover's camp was not uh, super lootful and super depressing. So hopefully that will raise your spirits and uh, you will find the strength to uh, continue on in Skyrim. <laughs> oh boy, this place is brutal. So that is my sad story for today. And uh, if you like this, please give me a like and give me uh, some suggestions if you have one for any sad stories you want to see me do. So, with that, I am on to my next sad story, and until I see you again, have fun exploring Skyrim. <laughs>